For today, we're going to be answering uh, an FRQ from 2004, form B, question number two. And in this problem, we are given the interval of the rate of change of the number of mosquitoes on tropical island at time t, modeled by r of t, which is equal to 5 squared of t cosine t over 5. And there are a thousand mosquitoes on tropical island at time t is equal to zero. And to answer the first question, we need to show that the number of mosquitoes is increasing at time t is equal to 6. Now, this is question number 2 of our FRQ, so that means we're allowed to use the calculator in answering this problem. So, you need to know how to use your calculator and its special functions so we can easily find the answer that we're looking for. So, for letter A, we are looking, or we are asked to show the number of mosquitoes if it's increasing at t is equal to 6. So to show that this, um, or the number of mosquitoes increasing at t is equal to 6, we are given the rate of change of the number of mosquitoes in this problem, which is 5 squared of t cosine t over 5. So all we need to do is to find the value of r of 6 using our calculator and check whether it's going to give us a positive or a negative value to see if it's increasing or decreasing. So this is our model at y sub 1, and if we change our window to ask, we can now set the value of x so that the calculator will give us the value of r of 6. So second function, graph, and you will see that at 6, our y sub 1 is equal to 4.438. which is a positive value, therefore we can say that at time t is equal to 6, the number of mosquitoes is increasing at this particular uh, value. Now for problem number two, we are going to show if at time t is equal to 6, is the number of mosquitoes increasing at an increasing rate or is the number of mosquitoes increasing at a decreasing rate. So to check this um, value, we need to find r prime of 6 and check if the value of r prime of 6 is going to be a positive value or a negative value. So from our calculator, we can easily check whether we're going to get a positive or a negative value of our derivative using math8. Plug in your function, x, and instead of typing in the given function, we can just use y sub 1 in our calculator, so go to vars. So we don't need to type in the entire function in our y sub 2 at x equals x. So going back to our table, we can see that y sub 2 is giving us negative 1.913. So in this particular value, we can say that the number of mosquitoes is increasing um, at a decreasing rate in this particular problem since r prime of 6 is equal to negative 1.913.
and on C we are asked to um, find how many mosquitoes will be on the island at t is equal to 31 and then round the answer to the nearest whole number. So first we need to uh, um, write the model that will help us find the number of mosquitoes at t is equal to 31. Now from the problem we know that there's 1,000 mosquitoes in tropical island at t is equal to 0. So we can have 1,000 plus the model that's given to us which is r of t and we're going to find the interval of r of t dt from 0 through 31. And with this model, we'll be able to find the number of mosquitoes at t is equal to 31. So to calculate or compute for this model, we are going to use our TI-84. So we're going to plug in 1. This is 31. 1,000 plus the interval from 0 to 31 and instead of typing in the entire model all we need to do is to push vars y vars which is y sub 1 so we don't need to type the entire function all over again and our calculator will give us the value of this model from 0 through 31 So this particular model is giving us 964.335 as our answer. But since the question is to round the answer to the nearest whole number, we can say that So for letter D, we're going to show to the nearest whole number what is the maximum number of mosquitoes in the interval from 0 to 31, and we need to show our analysis for this one. So we know that the R of T is our derivative function, so the model that we're using to count the number of mosquitoes a while ago from problem letter C is 1,000 plus the integral from 0, zero through, through 31, 31 of, 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 of R of T, 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 T. So, so, so to find, find value, value of this function, this function on the first, on the first interval, interval, which is 31, which is 31 we know we know that at T, T is equal to 30, 30, 30, 31, the number of number mosquitoes, mosquitoes is equal, equal to, to 966. Now, now at, at t is equal to zero, zero we know that the number of mosquitoes, mosquitoes is equal to, to 1,000. Now we just need to find the critical number of our function so that we can see whether it will be higher or lower than t is equal to 31 and at t is equal to zero. And to do that, if we're going to graph our function, we can see that there are two critical numbers that we could use, which is the point of intersection of our derivative function r of t to or against the x-axis, which is y equals 0. So to find the critical number, let's find the point of intersection of the curve right here, which is giving us 23.562. And there's another critical number here that we could use, so T 
of 7.854. So using our calculator, we can count the number of mosquitoes at t is equal to 23.562, which is one of the critical numbers, and at t at 7.854, and compare it to the other two endpoints that we have used a while ago. of y sub 1 which is giving us 842 mosquitoes and at t equals 7.854 we have 1,039 mosquitoes. So, in this analysis, we're able to prove that at t is equal to uh, 7.854, this is going to be uh, the interval So with this value, we can say that 